एवरी वन सो वेलकम बैक टू प्रोजेक्ट प्रो यूट्यूब चैनल दी वन स्टॉप प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर ऑल काइंड ऑफ बिग डेटा रिलेटेड प्रोजेक्ट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी स्पेसिफिक टू डेटा इंजीनियरिंग एंड बिग डेटा पाइपलाइन सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एंड रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम यूज केस हेयर एंड इट्स कंप्लीट आर्किटेक्चर रिव्यू हाउ वी कैन इवन बिल्ड इट एंड एवरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग राइट विच कैन हेल्प यू टू क्रिएट दिस काइंड ऑफ रियलिस्टिक प्रोजेक्ट so we are going to talk about it in detail and also i will explain it that why these kind of projects are actually needed in the data engineering so that you can get the complete picture that what kind of realistic projects the companies are building and how these pipelines data pipelines or uh, the kind of project they have built how it is helping them to solve some realistic problem statements so the problem statement the project detail here it is the log analytics project with spark streaming and kafka so i can give you the high level overview that what kind of uh, thing we are going to build here and what this project actually mean so here what we will be doing this is a kind of real world use case where the logs from the nasa kennedy space center server from there we will be getting the log and we need to actually do a log analytics using the big data tech stack for an example apache spark python and kafka so this data architecture or you can say this data pipeline design here is completely related to the real time data streaming and this is one of the most most important part of day to day activities of any data engineer where you will be uh, creating the data pipelines and even from your interview perspective these kind of design rounds going to be super super important and especially in these rounds focus will be more towards the real time data streaming application that's why i picked this project to brief about it and give you more idea about how these kind of projects actually work so first let's uh, deep dive into this log analysis what is actually log analysis and how it is helpful and then after that i will talk about the project agenda and the kind of data set and even talking about the architecture diagram everything will be explained after that we will be looking at the outcomes of this projects as well so first let's try to understand the log analysis so the process of evaluating understanding and comprehending computer generated documents known as logs is known as log analysis so this is the common common part right in our day to day activities whenever you let's say build any application or any platform it is there so obviously there will be some code piece uh, which will be running behind and uh, making that application functioning right so whenever we code something we try to build something obviously it will generate some kind of starts or it will generate some kind of logs right logs are not hard to understand means whatever uh, operation any any particular part of that system was doing uh, it was just publishing some messages and some system was capturing it right for the history analysis so those are actually logs and honestly in the companies right whatever companies are there this log analysis part is something which is really really crucial and that's what we will try to understand and first let's see how we can get and what are the prime sources for these kind of logs so anything like programmable technology including networking devices we have right they also generate some signals and messages and logs similarly operating system mobile application desktop application produce logs right after that what is actually uh, important with this log analysis and how it can be helpful so just try to imagine a very large enterprise right let's say amazon right they have the e-commerce platform which is 24 into 7 up and running and uh, like you are buying purchasing something from there and amazon know how crucial that product is for them so they cannot tolerate that bad customer experience that means continuously there will be an operations team behind which is monitoring these logs which are coming from the amazon e-commerce platform because people will be accessing this website or this application from the mobile as well and from the desktop and from the uh, chrome browser itself right so from everywhere continuously per second millions of records and millions of transactions are happening on that platform so the load will be really really high on the e-commerce platform there will be so many user requests uh, like at a single point of time so obviously this platform is an scalable system but still there can be 
uh, unforeseen circumstances where that load can uh, reach its peak and there can be some uh, system failures as well and in order to monitor those things right for the auto scalability part as well and even to scale the systems manually continuously we need to monitor the system right continuously we need to analyze the logs so that we can figure out the right matrices and we can apply some automated rules so that we are not seeing any system failures right any specific point of time so that's how this is very very crucial part as well in any of the organization and here these uh, like you can say important factors are also mentioned where this log analysis is required first like troubleshooting anything related to the networking we have networking devices they produces the log right the radars and even the servers you can say then development and quality assurance so whenever let's say we created any application and it is not properly let's say working and how we will be able to get to know this part if we are analyzing the logs generated by that application then identifying and understanding security issues that is also very much important continuously if you are monitoring those logs generated by the any application you can even figure out was some kind of uh, cyber security attack right on your system or any security loophole as well then customer service and then maintaining compliance with both government and corporate policies so log analysis is something which is very very much important as i said now talking about the agenda of this project what is expected so the agenda of this project actually involves real-time log analysis with the visualization web application as well so first what we need to do majorly we will be working here with the uh, aws cloud platform so we need some commodity hardwares and servers so that's why ec2 service will be used so that we can spin up few uh, servers on the aws there the docker the containerization application will be installed and with the help of that we will be using few specific big data related frameworks like the apache spark nifi apache kafka jupyter lab plotly for the uh, dashboarding part and the dash as well then we perform processing on sample data the data we are talking about the uh, log data from the uh, kennedy space center and that will be passed into individual column because that log data will also have some structure right so we will try to parse it we will try to uh, get the data in some structure using the spark data frames then doing some cleaning deduplications after that uh, what we need to do uh, we need to follow this extraction of this uh, nasa access log data set using apache nifi so on a regular interval we need to uh, pull this dummy data set using this uh, apache nifi and with the help of that in the real time we need to dump that data which we have passed into the kafka from there we will be having uh, a spark job in place which will be consuming this data from uh, apache kafka with the help of spark streaming and then the transformations will be performed and the transform data will be loaded in the NoSQL database like cassandra and simultaneously uh, on hdfs as well for analytical queries and after that using the python uh, libraries for an example plotly and dash we also need to draw some kind of matrices in the form of line chart graph chart and these matrices are something which we need to analyze by uh, ourselves because we will be having the access for the data it will be visible that how it looks like and we can figure out that what kind of meaningful uh, stats or what kind of meaningful matrices we can generate here and accessing the data set part as we talked about the extraction this is uh, the data right can be downloaded uh, from the kaggle itself and uh, then like that data will be uh, passed and streamed uh, into the kafka with the help of apache nifi and then transformation load during the transformation and load process we read the data from the kafka using spark streaming data frame according to schema creation with extraction and cleansing of log data and loading to cassandra for speed layer and hdfs for batch layer so we will try to understand about this architecture that how it is working so this is our overall architecture and since we have already talked about the tech stack for any kind of real-time data streaming application right in the big data we have uh, most most important things obviously the kafka is something which will be mostly mostly required and very much important for the real-time data streaming application because it is a kind of messaging queue system and then uh, spark streaming is there uh, this is one of the capabilities of spark as well that 
uh, you can use this spark streaming component and consume the data in real time and process it and after that we will be having the two layers as well one is the batch layer where we will be putting our transform data for the historical and analytical queries along with that we will be having the operational and active serving layer and here we are storing our data into the cassandra so that in a uh, short short intervals of the time we can uh, query this uh, data or the data which is in the serving layer and we can plot some meaningful graphs so this is the overall architecture this outer box you can see right there was one ec2 instance kind of server definitely we need and we will be playing around the docker this is a kind of uh, containerization application so if you don't know about docker uh, you can understand about it just uh, walk uh, through yourself with the docker understanding how it works and why it is very much important and these are the latest tool and tech stacks which uh, companies are following nowadays in the data engineering so in the ec2 there will be one docker image will be uh, deployed and with the help of that one docker container will be created and within the container we would have configured all these necessary application which we need uh, to create this pipeline uh, for example there will be spark installed there will be kafka installed there will be hadoop system will be also uh, installed right uh, along with the hdfs cassandra will be installed and these python libraries will be also ins installed there so first part is the data collection and ingestion part so here we know uh, we would have some process in place which will read that dummy data and parse it and in this box this first box there will be one apache nifi job which is parsing that data and uh, here with the help of this this symbol is actually for the apache nifi and it is consuming data from these logs we can see here and putting it into the kafka right we can see this symbol is for the kafka and then we will be having the spark streaming code so for this kafka right this apache nifi is the actual producer and this spark streaming is the consumer so in a short interval of time this spark streaming will keep on consuming data from the kafka that's why it is the speed layer because everything is happening here in the real time and then the transform data in parallel uh, will be pushed to the serving layer that means into the cassandra and simultaneously that will be pushed to the uh, batch layer like in the hdfs so that at later point of time that transform data can be used to uh, perform more and more complex uh, batch queries let's say querying one, one month of data and six month of data but this serving layer is very much important because our dashboards are getting populated in the real time this uh, web application right which will keep on querying the data from this uh, cassandra right in for any kind of real world user request and similarly with the help of this web app or simultaneously tightly coupled with this app we will be having uh, the graphs and line chart because there will be a python module plotly that can be used to uh, create these kind of uh, graphs here right so that was uh, about the architecture i hope it will be helpful the explanation and the project agenda we have so that you can try to mimic this project in your local and once you feel that uh, let's say you are able to do it by your own obviously that's well and good but obviously there will be majority of people who are not uh, very proficient with the data engineering and creating these data pipelines so obviously project pro can help you with that and for that you can take the subscription of project pro platform and you will get the access of very rich library more than 260 plus solve big data related projects completely end to end solved with all kind of support mentorship and guidance from the mentors and that's what actually where this project pro is going to help you a lot in order to improve your portfolio in order to improve your data engineering understanding in order to help you cracking your big data related interviews so now talking about the main part the outcomes which are actually expected so by end of this project the things which will be expected as an outcome you will have the good understanding of the project and aws ec2 service how the container application work what is the log analysis their application visualizing the complete architecture of the system like how to even draw the system design and architect that part understanding of uh, port forwarding right because we will be having some web app kind of thing as well in place so port forwarding concept will be there introduction to the docker as well for the containerization application uses of docker compose how to create docker image deploy it everything will be cleared then 
the analysis of the log data how it looks what are the common factors then understanding the lambda architecture this is the very very popular architecture in the big data space lambda architecture and another is the kappa architecture so lambda is something which is very very popular and then understanding of nifi how it is going to be used and uh, how it will be doing the data ingestion then installation of kafka complete understanding how to use it writing consumer code producer code then from the nifi we will be publishing logs to kafka integration of nifi and kafka like how they will be communicating with each other then installation of spark and using it for the data processing here you with the help of spark streaming data will be consumed from kafka after that reading data from kafka via spark structured streaming api then you will have a good understanding of cassandra how uh, we need to work with it and how, why this no sql database also very popular after that whatever data we would have processed and transformed how to even ingest it into the cassandra how to set up that communication continuous loading data in cassandra for aggregated results integrating cassandra and plotly and dash here displaying live stream hourly and daily results using python plotly and dash so this will be the overall project outcome as well so i hope this project explanation is completely clear to you and uh, now at least you will be in a state that with the help of this uh, problem statement review and architecture uh, you can at least try to mimic this project at your end and again as i said if you feel you won't be able to do that and you haven't that kind of expertise in data pipeline design and practical implementation part of it then definitely take the subscription of project pro and you will get access of all these kind of amazing end to end solve big data projects so that's what i had for you guys in this video and i will see you guys sometimes next month and we will be covering another interesting big data data pipeline related architecture so i'll see you next time